It was one of the deadliest commutes in Chicago history. 50 years later, those that were there that day remembering a train crash south of McCormick Place that left hundreds injured and 45 commuters dead. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza spoke with some survivors on the anniversary of the crash today. And Sabrina, some of those families met for the first time today. Dana Chris, some of those survivors were on the same train 50 years ago today. They went through that horrific tragedy together and never actually met until today. Thank you. It was so good that you were here and so nice to meet you. You as well. On the anniversary of a tragedy 50 years ago today. Our hearts have been connected for a long time. That train was a battering ram. The pain is still fresh. These introductions are just as new. I didn't know any of these people. Joseph Presley lost his father Leroy on October 30th, 1972. His dad was a porter for Illinois Central. See, my dad knew everyone I used to feel because he was such a, a humble, outspoken person. That day, one Illinois Central train overshot the 27th Street station and reversed. The train behind it wasn't able to stop in time. It collided with the train in front of it. I walked past the, uh, the newsstand and the news person came out and said, hey, Joe, I'm sorry your daddy's dead. 350 people were injured. 45 people died. Of those survivors, and I don't want to start crying, Gwendolyn Ann Brinson Mabin. To see people who passed, and I wonder why not me. She was in the front car, moved 10 seats back because her neighbor was smoking a cigar at the time, and she didn't like the smell. Had she stayed, she says she might not have changed her career path and learned this lesson. It just made me see my vulnerability because when you're 21 you think you're going to be here forever that day first responders from michael reese hospital rushed to help it's now closed but then help was less than 100 yards away now closer than ever those that were there share their burden of grief and stories of survival so no one could ever forget i don't say goodbye to be continued thank you thank you so much it's moving just listening to them meet each other. Now, since this tragedy, trains have gotten necessary structural upgrades, including GPS and signal enhancements. Also, the survivors and their families are working to get a permanent memorial erected to honor those lost. Those plans are still in the works. We're live in the control room. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. And we'll keep tabs on those plans, too. Sabrina, thanks very much.